What's up, Wrangler Nation? Welcome back into another episode of Wranglers Weekly, brought to you by 575 Pizzeria. I'm Guy Carenza, and today our special guest is Emil Skeltons. Emil, thank you for coming onto the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, you had a big weekend this last week. Two goals, two assists, all in your last two games. Incredible week for the Wranglers. You got the win on Sunday, especially after the way that Saturday's game went. What was kind of the message in the locker room from the end of Saturday to Sunday that helped you guys recollect yourselves and get the win? Well, our captain, Mo, he said to us that uh, we need to remember our feeling after the loss, and that kind of motivated us. And I think we just try to forget the game, and uh, we talk with the coaches, and we just try to think about the good stuff we did, and we went with positive, with positive emotions to the game. That's good. And for... Sunday's game being an afternoon game, how do you prepare for that like as an athlete? Like how do you get your body ready to play from the end of Saturday's game to an early game on Sunday? Well, Saturday after a game, I have a really good meal. Uh, then I go to sleep pretty early. I try to wake up pretty early at about like nine. I wake up, I go in a cold shower, take a good meal. Then I uh, hop in the Norma Tex. It's a massage like for the legs. Okay. And then uh, I just listen to good music, be in the positive mood and getting ready for the game. What, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Uh, I listen to Latvian music. Okay. It's uh, like either Latvian traditional music or Latvian rap. And that helps you kind of calm down and get locked in for a game? Yeah, yeah. It helps me. I think about a lot of, about home before games, and it just helps me. Well, let's skip because I was going to ask you about uh, your home in a second, but let's stick with Sunday's game. You scored a big goal, the, the four-on-four goal to tie up the game. Um, Tell me, take me through that goal. What did you see there and, and just kind of walk me through it, what you saw? Well, we just tried to uh, stay draw because we had a five-minute uh, penalty after that and we just tried to be composed. But uh, I saw Heike giving me a DD pass and I just walked in to take a shot. And yeah, it went in. Yeah, that was a laser of a shot. That was a yeah. lot of muscle on it. Is that something that you've been working on? especially in the off season to kind of get your shot to where you want it? Yeah, I, I worked a lot on my shot. I, at the start of the season, I, take, I didn't take many shots. I wasn't really uh, confident about myself. But then I talked a lot of, with coaches, and they, they gave me some confidence, and I worked a lot after practices to my shot. And that's, Well, it's working yeah. well because now you've got four points in your last two games, and you're playing great on defense. So you're off to a, a, good, a good start here at the Budweiser bullpen. And for you, you're a defenseman. Tell me how you got into hockey and what made you want to become a defenseman. Well, uh, my parents decided that I'm going to be a hockey player <laughs> because uh, my dad was a pretty big hockey fan. And in 2006, year after I was born, there was a world championship of hockey, first time in Latvia. Oh. And my parents attended the games and they were really inspired by that. And uh, at my first year bo uh, birthday, uh, they, my dad's brother, gifted me a stick so it was already decided to me hey so it was just in the cards it was it was fortunate it, it, yeah awesome man and so you're from Latvia what's your favorite thing about your home country I just love the land we have a lot of forests a lot of rivers lakes and it's really it's really humidity you know what I mean mm -hmm. and uh, we have a really good people there everyone is pretty friendly and I just love that that sounds awesome and so Texas very different from yeah. Latvia. What's been one of your favorite things about Amarillo so far? I love the weather. Yeah. It's always so warm. Like la now in Latvia, it's pretty cold. My uh, all my friends, family, they wear like winter jackets already. But I love the people here, especially the fans. Like it was really, really a, a electric. Yeah, I agree with you. I, two fa two of my favorite things right there as well. And so it's always obviously probably a pretty big cultural shift going from. Eastern Europe to the Texas Panhandle. What have you noticed as far as the differences from where you're from to here? Well, uh, it's more deserty here. And I think people is more friendly here. Like in Latvia, we are more composed. We are cold, I would say. Okay. Like we just mind our own businesses. But here there's a lot of small talks, but I actually love that. Like you can, everyone is going to help you if they ask. So yeah, I love That's that. nice. And so talk about the cuisine, talk about the food in Latvia, because I have to imagine that's a little different too. What's, what are some of your favorite foods? Well, I love cold soup, yeah. so it's basically, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, it's like made with water, 
It's it's in the pink color and it's with uh, with red vegetable. I don't know the name of it. Uh, maybe okay. you know it, but uh, it's pretty interesting. Then we have a lot of meat. We don't really eat pork. We eat a lot of chicken. Uh, but my dad's uh, my dad's wife's dad is a hunter, so I, li I eat a lot of uh, forest meat. So oh, nice. yeah, that's cool. And are you a good cook? Like, do you uh, make these yourself, or I'm, I think I'm decent. Like, yeah. I can cook. So yeah, uh, that's cool, man. And so, what are what are some of your hidden talents then? Because we know you're a great hockey player, but what are some of your hobbies and what do you like to do off the ice? Uh, I'm a pretty big fishing guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, with my friends, we always go fishing in Latvia in our day offs. I play a lot of basketball. When I was a kid, I played basketball too. So, that would be it. That's cool. And so, here in America, obviously, a bunch of different foods here. What is some of your favorite foods in Amarillo that you've tried so far? Uh, I like the Yellow City. Okay. It was really good. I like Tropical Smoothie. I love that. So. Everyone says volcanoes. Okay, yeah, no, a lot of the guys, they love volcanoes. Yeah. They love to go over there. I like it, I like it there, but it uh, could be better. Yeah, I mean, I heard the other day that you tried a donut for the first time oh, from, yeah. from Benjamin's Donuts. How was that? That was really good. That was good. I love that. And the cookies here are also awesome, like really good. We have like different kind of cookies, but I like it here more actually. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome, man. And so I've also heard that you've been uh, doing some work over at the Ice Ranch, hanging out with the kids and, and helping them, uh, just getting involved with the community. What's that been like for you? Well, I love it. I love to be with kids around. Like, I try to help them. And I know when I was a kid, there was some professional teams, uh, players coming over to our practices, and I just felt, uh, felt really good. And I was really inspired by them, and I just tried to give the same feeling to these kids. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's great to give back. And uh, you know, I'll ask you about Latvia again. What are some traditions that you have in your home country that uh, that you enjoy? Like it can be uh, from your family or just culturally. I would say Midsummer. We have holiday Midsummer, so two days we're celebrating uh, Midsummer. Like we make a big firework, uh, fire. How do you call it? Like a like a bonfire. Yeah, like bonfire. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. We cook. We have like our traditional uh, clothes, and we just party for two days. That's cool. Hey, yeah. nothing wrong with a good party. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And so here in America, what's one thing that you've always wanted to try that you haven't tried yet? Hmm. Like what what's on your list? Probably some NHL, NBA games. I would love oh, to yeah. see that. Well, I, I try donut. Yeah? <laughs> That's, I check it out in my checklist. <laughs> so, yeah. The donut was a good start? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> That's awesome, man. And so, I'll give you one more question. This weekend, or I guess this last weekend, was your first weekend here at the Budweiser bullpen. What was it like playing, playing in front of this crowd, these fans? How awesome was that? That was really cool. I really loved it. It was my first time experiencing these kind of fans, and I was really pumped. Like. Even after I scored the goal, everyone was so hyped and I just get my emotions in and it was really, really cool. I love this. Yeah, it's great. And uh, we're in the middle of a great homestand here. So after all that time on the road, we finally get to string together some ones here at home. And so he'll be in action with the Wranglers taking on the Shreveport Mudbugs this weekend, Friday and Saturday. You can get your tickets at panhandletickets.com, 7 o'clock puck drop. We'll hope to see you there. Emils, thank you for your time. Thank you for Always great me. talking with you. Yeah. And uh, I'm Guy Carenza saying so long, and we'll see you on the next episode of Wranglers Weekly, brought to you by 575 Pizzeria.